Welcome, Ooh. Team Mahogany Balsam Bath and Body Works Candle, to your sixth elimination. It's so good to see your faces. Some of them are smiling and some of them are not. And it uh, doesn't take a lot to figure out why some of them are not. Before we get into uh, <laughs> business tonight, um, I do want to remind you that we have reached the part of the season where we will be welcoming our jury into our eliminations. So without further ado, the first member of the jury, Meg. Welcome, Meg. Oh, and look at that haircut and color. New do. Oh, Meg said, listen, listen, people, I am going to come and slay you all just with my Zoom rectangle. Another day, another slay. Precisely, Sam. <clears throat> uh, welcome, Meg. All right, now, let's get down to business. Let's defeat some Huns, shall we? Trey, I'm coming over to you first, my friend. Not Antonio. So my question for you is, how did it feel? How did it feel losing your vote last week? You know, it's odd. Because you think you're going to feel powerless. You think you're going to feel adrift in a sea of endless murky possibility. But when, when, that, when that's taken away from you for the first time, you realize just how much weight you were carrying on your back. And through a certain loving and, I don't know, forgiving power of the universe, yeah, you can be free of a lot of stress. Is that it? That's about it, yeah. Cool. Fiona, putting on the lipstick in the Zoom camera. What a classic move. If I had some lipstick, I would join you. Um, so my question for you is, Fiona, last week, Jordan dropped some heat into the elimination with their speech they delivered, calling for the game to be mixed up and to be uh, opened wide. So my question for you is, are you concerned that that may have changed some hearts and minds? Yeah. Oh yeah, tell me more about that. Do you know that movie Ice Princess? It is a Disney Channel original movie. Mm -hmm. There's this scene where the lead, I don't, I don't remember the actress's name, but she, she does her first ice skating routine. She's a physics gal, you know? Um, so she's a real nerd, but now she's trying ice skating. And it starts, it goes, it's oh so quiet, shh, shh. And that is how I felt the slack was. Was the story worth it? <laughs> I think it, you're, I think it's always worth it, Fiona, when you share. Um, okay, interesting. So, uh, so slack was quieter than you anticipated. Wow. No. So then my question, which is sort of related is, is you've won two immunity challenges in a row. Um, you know, I think the only contestants last season to do that were the first and second place finishers. 
So do you think that you're at your tops because you are concerned that you might be on the chopping block if you didn't get immunity? That's fueling you through these challenges. Yeah, I'm very nervous, but I'm also very nervous because I won those two challenges. I had some certain advantages in those challenges. First one, because I, I'm very small, so I didn't have to make a great distance. And the second, because I've been folding cranes. Now, Antonio, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I don't know how these next challenges are gonna go for me. I certainly don't. And so I'm nervous that people are gonna see me as a challenge threat when I just might not be one. Fair enough, Fiona, fair enough. After two challenges in a row, that is certainly possible, but I guess we will, you have immunity tonight. So unless you give that up, there's no chance you're leaving. So I guess we'll see what happens next uh, immunity challenge. Uh, Jordan, I wanna come over to you. Uh, I mentioned your rousing speech <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, from <laughs> last week. Quite the, uh, quite the ninth hour moment. Um, certainly would go down in TTS Survivor history. Did you plan that? Yeah, kind of. I didn't plan exactly what I was going to say, but I knew I had to say something because I just feel like I'm constantly like at the bottom, constantly like I am constantly someone who people are like trying to get, you know, trying to get them out or like splitting a vote or something like that. And so it's just, it was like my last ditch effort, but it's been quiet. So I don't know if it, I don't know if it worked. It worked too well and it's not gonna work in my favor, which I didn't really need it to work in my favor. I just wanted more drama <laughs> as if there wasn't already enough. But like, uh, I'm so anxious right now. I just don't know. Well, so I gotta ask and I, I you know, it's up to you to answer, but did it, did it change anything? Not that I'm aware of. Right now, not that I'm aware of. Well, I guess we will find out whether or not it did in, in a, few short moments here. Alex, I'm gonna come over to you. I have to say, I'm very proud of you. I feel a little bit of fatherly pride, although I am far too young to be your father, um, at your performance in the challenge. I think you got two cranes completed, is that correct? So I'm curious, did you practice? Um. I, I learned about 30 minutes pre-challenge. Um, and I made about like six or seven. <laughs> I, went, I went a little hard, um, but uh, I guess years of practice makes a difference <laughs> in this challenge. <laughs> well, I was very impressed, Alex. I appreciated that. I feel like you redeemed yourself after not having your apple ready. Yeah, I felt like I had to, uh, I had to show up. <laughs> and yes, if anyone yeah. was going to be my dad, I'd want it to be you, Antonio. The nicest thing anyone's ever said to me, uh, but I do want to reiterate, I'm far too young. Nora, so, uh, you know, we revealed in last week's episode that you, you dropped a truth bomb in the, the general chat on Slack that you had one of the immunity items. So my question for you this week is, has that changed anything for you since you announced that you had it? Um, if I'm being honest, I thought that it would, and I thought that it might give me a leg up and it didn't happen. So that so kind of no stuff. difference, no difference in the, the way no. people communicated with you, the way you interacted, nothing changed for you. No. And I'm, I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm like disappointed, but like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like I, I expected it to be like a big move and there was just like, there wasn't a, as big of a reaction as I thought there would be, which I mean, is kind of a good thing for me. Cause then that means like, I'm not on anyone's target, I guess. I don't know, but there wasn't a big reaction that I had expected. Uh, Georgia, I want to come over to you next. Um, so, you know, I think, you know, this, and I think most people here are aware of this, but you have had out of all the remaining contestants, you have had easily the most votes cast against you. <laughs> point. So my question for you is, how do you feel going into tonight's elimination with that knowledge? 
how do you think I feel? Every single week I go, uh, 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 uh. like, I think, how many votes have I had so far? Like 14, something like that. So it must be, it's in the teens for sure. Um, you know, I, when I signed up to play Survivor, I was like, I, this will not be easy for me for obvious reasons, you know, Matthew's my best friend. Um, so I, and, and uh, I think early on in the game, um, I had um, a lot of volume um, during these eliminations. Um, and so, you know, as per usual, I feel like I'm gonna blow chunks, um, but eventually when you're, every single week, it's like you get vote after vote and you just, you just, I mean, it's not, I'm not saying that I'm like giving up or that I don't care. It's just that I really am like here to enjoy the company, I guess at this point um, and to, you know, crack a joke here and there. Carly, 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 Carly. So I have a question for you and I, you know, we can open this up to anyone, but uh, how, how do you feel about the, the presence of immunity items in this game? We know that Nora has one. Do you suspect that there are more in the game? And do you have any inklings as to who might have them? Um, I There are definitely more in the game. I don't know by who, because honestly, I, I also don't know where the F they are, but <laughs> you know, so I think I have some theories about who might have them in my head of heads, but I could not tell you who, who it is because everyone is so, well, Sorry, besides Nora, <laughs> everyone is very quiet about if they have it or not. I remember when Georgia had hers, I had an inkling about it just because I felt like she was a, a very confident that that round. So I was like, she might have it, um, but like I have not seen that since. So I will be keeping my eyes out for it, but watch out. Yeah, Nora, hop in there. Um, I'm not. I'm gonna call people out, I guess. Um, I feel like if Georgia had already found one, she might have found another one. But I'll just put that out there. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you think the same could be said about you, Nora? Only time will tell. I guess it is possible someone has two immunity items in this game. Sam, I have a I have a question for you. Now that you're now that you've chimed in, I gotta know. Let's let's hear it. How are you deciding who to align yourself with in this game? What criteria are you using to determine who the people are that you vote with and not against? Um, same criteria I follow for literally everything else in my life, Antonio. Follow your heart. That's look, Sam, that's Me really too. beautiful. I I appreciate that. So have you been following your heart? In yes, this game? sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have. Do you trust that your heart is going to lead you to the finish line? I don't know if the goal is the finish line. It might be. It might not be. I really came on here for shits and giggles, and that's what I have gotten. I've All gotten right. shits and giggles. <laughs> well, your heart has led you to shits and giggles. Yes, sir. If that's what you came here for, then I'm happy that you have received all right. Thank you, Sam. Of course. Um, all right. I got a couple more questions. I want to come back to you, Colin. And my question for you, Colin, is are you playing this game to win? Is that a tough question to answer? I guess that's a tough question because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't just want to be like, no, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't just want to be like, nah, whatever. Um, I, I'm playing it to have to have fun, I guess, you know, and and really, I mean, that's why I like that's why I signed up. Um, I, I mean, I I know that like we're all sort of like kind of doing our thing and our alliance or the people at the bottom, but like I feel like kind of lucky that I made it this far, and I think it's it's just going to naturally get more fun as it goes on when there are like less people and those alliances like are sort of forced to, you know, 
come apart. Like, would it like there can only be one winner, you know? And I think that that will sort of, I mean, I feel like I'm in a comfortable spot right now and that that will just kind of play out when it's going to, when it's going to play out, you know? But so I guess, yeah. I mean, and if the opportunity comes up, then like, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, you know, screw the pooch and just go for it. You know, like that's just, that's just how it'll be. But you know, I'm very, I'm patient. I can chill out for a while, you know? So. Thank you, Colin. Hava, I'm going to bring you in here. Was last week's vote a surprise to you? Yes. I, yeah, I was surprised. I, there was so much chatter last week in the Slack. I was so overwhelmed and like everyone was trying to get me to vote one way. I feel like I was kind of one of those, like, you don't know where she's going to go votes. And I thought someone else was going to go home versus the person who actually ended up going home. Yeah, I was surprised. So do you think that, that things went a little, uh, things did not quite go as according to plan last week? I don't think, yeah, I don't think things went to plan for what the plan I thought was going to be. Yeah. How do you feel about tonight? Do you think tonight's going to go according to the plan? I hope so. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens very soon. We'll see. Lots of folks saying we will see. And in fact, we will see. Because that brings us to the end of our little chat. Wow. Meg, <clears throat> Meg, thank you so much for being here. Um, you can stay for the voting, but I would ask you to please turn your video off. In a moment, I will ask each of you to private message me the name of the contestant that you feel deserves to be eliminated tonight at your sixth elimination on season two of Survivor TTS. Before we get into the votes, I do have to double check. Fiona, are we going to be keeping our immunity tonight? All right, Fiona is keeping her immunity. That means we are getting down to the votes. And without further ado, our first vote comes from Fiona. Next up, Jordan, Nora, Hava, Colin, Trey, Georgia, Alex, Carly and Sam. All right. <clears throat> the votes are in. Before I read the votes aloud, I would like to ask that if anyone has an immunity item that they would like to play on either themselves or a fellow contestant, please unmute yourself, display the item, and tell me who you would like to save. All right. This means all votes except any cast for Fiona will count tonight. Our first vote is for Georgia. Our second vote is for Jordan. We have a second vote for Georgia. We have a vote for Alex. We have a second vote for Jordan. We have a third vote for Georgia. Second vote for Alex. We have a third vote for Alex. A fourth vote for Alex. And the final vote with our tallies, Jordan two votes, Georgia three votes, and Alex with four. The final vote is for Alex. Alex, I'm sorry to tell you that this means what you already know to be true, which is that you have been 
eliminated tonight in the sixth elimination from season two of Survivor TTS. You seem very uh, animated. Please unmute yourself and uh, tell me how you're feeling right now. Antonio, this this whole game, like, I feel like, you know, not a lot of like shit has been happening to me. Like I'm pretty much coasting and like, you know, I wanted some drama and I don't know who did it, bro. But y'all, y'all turn, turn, bro. This, I'm blindsided and I'm like excited about it. This is good. This is good. Completely, no idea this is gonna happen, bro. Good job. Good job, guys. Oh, Trey is whipped out. My heart will go on, on your behalf. Thank you, guys. Um, Alex, I gotta say. Uh, I really enjoyed having you on this season. You're such a fun presence. I'm sorry if I gave you too much shit for not having your apple prepared. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you'd like to say to your fellow competitors or to the audience before you head out? Um, I don't know. What happened tonight, guys? I think this, this is what needs to be happening. <laughs> do, do this shit, dude. This is what people want to see. So have fun i don't know this is uh, i've it's been fun guys i guess that's all i can say <laughs> gotta say one of the first maybe the only contestant to be excited by their elimination uh definitely uh keeping things exciting here thank you Alex. i'm not gonna lie like i'm a little sad but like <laughs> but like i'm like this is total blindside dude I, wow all right <laughs> And it sounds like your roommates are pretty uh, stunned with you, maybe? Yes, they are. <laughs> well, thank you, Alex. It's been a pleasure. You may now leave the Zoom. So by the looks on the faces in the room tonight, it does look like there may have been a bit of an unexpected elimination tonight. Looks like things may be changing around. Jordan, perhaps your speech last week did change some hearts and some minds. And with that, that brings me to the next part of tonight, which is in a moment, I will be asking you to private message me the name of a second contestant that you feel deserves to be eliminated tonight. Fiona, your immunity is still valid for the second elimination, so you are immune. And without further ado, we are going to dive right back in to another vote. I just want to say I have a lot of love for all of my teammates. That was very sweet. Thank you for that display of love and solidarity, Sam. <clears throat> all right. And that actually brings me to our first vote, Sam, which is you. Next up, Carly. Georgia, Trey, Colin, Hava, Nora, Jordan, and Fiona. All right, the votes are in. I will ask a second time. If anyone has an immunity item, they would either like to play on themselves or one of their competitors. Now is the time to come off mute, display your immunity item, and tell me who you would like to save. All right, here are your votes. Again, Fiona is immune. No votes cast against her will count. First vote is for Carly. Next vote, Georgia. Next vote is for Sam. We have a second vote for Sam. The next vote is for Trey. We have a second vote for Georgia. A third vote for Georgia. A third vote for Sam. That leaves our tallies 
one vote for Carly, one vote for Trey, and three votes each for Georgia and Sam, with one vote remaining. The last vote is for Sam. Sam, my darling Sam. I don't have to tell you what this means, and yet I will remind you nonetheless that you have been eliminated. I understand. Seventh elimination vote in Survivor TTS. Oh, silly Sam. Perhaps Angelic the heart and, Antonio. Perhaps the heart and soul, or at least my heart and soul, uh, on season two of Survivor TTS. Uh, you've as well been a wonderful addition. I really enjoy your energy. Can I have some of it? Whatever you 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 do to keep yourself so chill, I could use some of that. Yeah, I. <laughs> DM me on Slack. <laughs> For your tips and tricks? Yeah, of course. Oh, Sam, it's been so fun. Do you have anything that you would like to say to your fellow competitors or to our audience before you head out? Just like I said earlier in this episode, I have a whole lot of love for all my teammates. I came here for shits and giggles. I got my shits and giggles. I have been voted off, but nonetheless, I am so grateful for this experience and so grateful for these people. This has been something I look forward to every single week, and I am so glad I did it. Aww. Thank you to you all. Love Sam, you. well, we're very grateful that you did it with us. Thank you, Angelic Antonio. <laughs> all right, and without further ado, Sam, you are free to leave the zoom it's been real friends see ya <sighs> couple very tough eliminations some news that it looks like folks were not expecting tonight seems like this game could be wide open at the moment that was a tough episode to get through Forgive me for the surprise double, but it must be done. And with that, until next time. Welcome, Team Mahogany Balsam Bath and Body Works Candle. It looks like we're missing someone because tonight they have the opportunity to win their place back in the game.